Alrighty, we've been running around today looking for what's new and wow, we see an airframe we haven't seen before. Tell us about the Aquilay, what you want to do with the American market, where does it come from, and oh yeah, when can we fly it? Yeah, well, it's a new offering to North America. It is a uh, proven airframe. It's been in Europe flying for about 30 years. It started out as an Italian design aircraft called the Yuma. There's a couple of variants in Europe from that Yuma. One was a G1. To our knowledge, there's no offering as a tailwheel, though, in the world. So we are going to offer it as a tailwheel option, and it will be available in a fast build kit form late spring of 2024. Kit's construction, we are estimating at 300 hours. It's that low because the kit comes very complete. It's a fast build kit. It does qualify the 51% rule. There's controls already run in the wings and uh, the wiring and so forth for strobes and trim kits and everything are already in the fuselage and wings. So it's really a more or less a bolt together type of kit. You do have to do some riveting. The control surfaces need to be riveted and that's to try to meet the 51% rule. If you put a Rotax in it, it's really extremely easy. The cowling is made for that. The kit does come with a Rotax engine mount. If you choose a different engine, which you can, then uh, we'll help you with the, the engine mount and so forth. It is a LSA qualified aircraft, uh, 730 pounds empty, 1320 gross. So you can fly it with a sports license. You can register it as an ELSA, it's experimental LSA, or you can register it as an experimental. Stall speed is about 30 miles an hour. Cruise is about 100 miles an hour. It's got a folding wing component to it, which is unusual because it pivots in the middle of the cord mm -hmm. and it makes it trailerable with a little bit less than eight feet when the uh, wings are folded. The cabin is surrounded by a chrome molly frame, steel frame, and all the components attach to that frame, the engine, the landing gear, the wings, and so forth. So that's a little unique. It has a folding stick option that is really unique. It locks the elevator down when the stick's folded to the floor. There's no pins or screws to pull, and you can just get in the uh, airplane very easily and pull the stick up, and you're ready to fly. So, Pricing? Pricing, 34900 The plane you see here has some upgrades on it. It does have the Behringer landing gear and wheels. The standard gear will be more like a Cub tube frame with uh, a shock on it, Acme shock, and then a spring tail gear. So we will have options. There's a flat panel, aluminum uncut panel that's included, so you gotta do all your own avionics. But all the carbon fiber cowling and wing tips and everything is included in the kit. Very, very complete kit. Outstanding. And you say these are gonna be available the latter part of 24? Yeah, so hopefully summer of 24. So we are in the process of cutting our first kit and it's going to be uh, kind of a test to make sure everything fits together. It's all CNC cut, whole match hole cut, and uh, we're going to put that together in Canada. But the manufacturing will be in Florida for the kits, and we'll have some builders assist in Canada, Northwest Illinois, which is where I'm at, and then at Lakeland. So we'll have builders assist programs also. Very good. We thank you for your time, sir. All right. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller.